Hello, my most amazing artist. Today, you should finish your 3D animal sculpture. Okay, I'm gonna pass out your folders and all of this should be in your folders. You're gonna need a glue stick, a pair of scissors, your markers if you're not finished coloring. And the first thing you're gonna do is look at your two pages that you worked on last week. You should have everything drawn and traced with a Sharpie on one side, and then you should have it traced on the back. Um, it should be the exact same. So before you color, you need to flip it to the back and trace your black lines. Then you need to be sure that both sides are colored. Both sides are colored. When that's done, you are gonna cut everything out. Take your time and cut out neatly. If you notice, I leave a little white edge around mine. You can do that or you can cut out exact. Now, if you trace this the right way, yours will be the same on both sides. Okay, set that aside and now you will cut out the feet. Also, before you cut out, be sure that you drew feet. The tracers I had, they did not have feet on them, but you need to have feet for the part we're gonna do in just a minute. Also, be sure you cut out this little area. Again, cut out super neatly. You're gonna have lots of scrap paper. You will need to throw your scrap paper in the trash when you're completely done cutting everything out. Okay, once everything is cut out, this next step is very important. So you need to decide where your feet need to go. They don't need to go up here and way back here. Your feet would be kind of here maybe and then maybe here. So decide where you're gonna put the feet and you're gonna draw just a short line, not long, about the length of my fingernail, okay? And then it's hard to see because I did that with pencil, but you're going to snip that little line, okay? It's not very big, it's very small, okay? And you're gonna do that also where the back legs are gonna go. So I'm gonna say my back legs are gonna be about here. And again, I want it about the length of my fingernail. I don't want it really long. You can always cut it longer later. If, it, if you didn't cut it long enough at first, you can cut it longer later, but you can't make it shorter. So it is important, very important, that you make it pretty short. All right, we're gonna do the same thing in the middle of our legs. So again, it's hard to see. This line's gonna be even shorter and it should be right in the middle. Just, just a little, just a little bit, just something to hook on, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're gonna take your feet and fold them up, okay? So that they would can be glued, okay? So you need to fold your feet up. That's why it was important to draw feet. So I'm gonna fold my feet. Now I'm not folding half the leg up. I'm just trying to fold the feet, okay? And now to attach this, I'm gonna connect this slit with this slit and I want it to fit tight, okay? So it just kind of fits in there and do the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna fit those slits together, all right? And then the last thing that I'm gonna do, I would wanna make sure that my board is completely covered, every colored, everything looks good. Your craftsmanship should be good. That means your coloring should be very neat. You should not have scribbled all over your animal. If you have, take some time to color neatly before you glue it down. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of flip my animal upside down and I'm gonna put a good bit of glue on the bottom of all four feet. And you wanna do this quickly so that the glue does not dry. So a good bit of glue, a good bit of glue. Then I'm gonna decide where I want to set my turtle 
So I can set them at an angle straight. I think an angle looks more interesting. And I am going to just press down for about 10 seconds each foot. So I can do both of them at the same time here. I'm just gonna press down. And there you have it. Got my turtle. All right, if you did a dinosaur and yours is gonna sit up on two big back legs and it's gonna have front arms, let me know and I'll try to help you.